So here they're talking about the inheritance and the list four people. So there's the A person, the B, the C, and D. And they tell us that the A person has uh, is going to get 35% of the inheritance and B receiving 30%, C receiving 25 and D, they don't tell us what the percent is, but they tell us that D is $840, right? Now, notice I am not putting that at the same level as the percent. I'm just creating its own different level here because you have to always respect numbers. Like if these are all in percent, don't just put a, a dollar value right next there. But you know, so essentially what's happening is here is this is kind of like my X, the unknown, um, but all of this should equal to 100%, right? Well, the question then is, what are these all together? Like if I add 35, 30, and 25, that will give me 90. So I pretty much have 90 plus X equal to 100. Now remember the X is the D, is the percentage for D. Well, obviously that means it's 10, right? Because 90 plus 10 is 100. So that means that the D person is only receiving 10% of the inheritance. But we already know, I'm going to put that here, 10%, but we already know that 10% is representing um, $840, right? Um, that 10% represents $840. So what you can do here is we can say, well, we know 840 is uh, related to 10%. And in this question, they're asking us for how much the A person receives, which is 35%. So I can say, well, as 840 is to 10%, so is 35 to the unknown, meaning what we're looking for is called that N. Okay, so now we could just cross multiply. Um, in this question as well, um, it's helpful just to, it's probably easier just to go ahead and use a calculator in this case. So it would be 10N equal to 35 times 840, right? And then divide by 10, divide by 10. Technically, these zeros will cancel each other out. You could just use a calculator to multiply 35 times 84. And so that will give us the N as 2940. 2940. So $2,490 is what this the A inheritance person will receive by just setting up this way. Find the percent of the D because you you are looking for that percent of the D because it's directly connected to a dollar value that you know, and then use that in a ratio proportion situation like I am here and to solve for A. So the answer is 2940, which is um it's a it's a greeting number. It's a self-response um, um, answer. So you just throw in the 2940 as your answer.